up GIMP, create a new file, just standard size is fine. You can uh, use it for uh, whatever you want, you, whatever size, doesn't really matter. For right now, I'm just going to be using default. So just create some text. I'm just going to be typing in GIMP. Um, I like the font uh, Nightclub, let's see, Nightclub BTM Bold, just because it's a nice bold text. Um, not, uh, this came with my computer, so I'm not sure where to get it. Uh, but you can just choose any bold t uh, text that you like. So I'll put the selection this. Just get it nice and big so it fits pretty good in there. Uh, create a new layer under the text layer. Go select grow by 7 pixels. Now on this new layer, fill in that selection with black. Now create a new another new layer over this one. Go select shrink by 4 pixels. Now take your, your gradient tool and choose a brushed aluminum. It's an alphabetical order, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Then just stroke down, hold the control key to get a straight stroke, and then go select none, and now we have a cool metallic outline. Looks pretty good. So now, what you're gonna wanna do is click on this main text layer, lock the alpha select, uh, the alpha channel, which will make sure that nothing besides, or the alpha will not be changed. So right click on it, and press layer to image size, it just makes it a normal layer so things can go outside. So go to ren uh, filter, render, clouds, solid noise. Uh, move the X and the Y size up to 16.0 for each of them, which is as high as it goes. Uh, click randomize, and then you can set the detail to whatever you want. I'm just going to be using one. And then click OK. And now we have uh, some clouded effects uh, on the black part of the text. Now, with the alpha channel lock still, just click on that main text, go to uh, light and shadow, and plasti wrap. I'll, I'll put the link in the description for this uh, effect, for this filter, and if you don't know how to install it onto your GIMP, just watch one of my previous tutorials uh, that will uh, explain, that explains how to uh, install effects and stuff like that. So, you just want the neon radius to 10 and the final uh, layer copy to 10 just to give it a nice uh, outline of plastic. So that looks pretty good right there. So just scroll down on this uh, on the layer channels uh, toolbox and then just hide everything that you don't want. So just hide these bottom three, the outline. Right click and press merge visible layers and then click merge and then you can show the rest of the layers. Now create a new layer, transparent. I'll put to selection this, uh, the plastic wrap layer. Now go to gradient, go to deep C, then stroke down using the control key to uh, make a straight and you want something about right there. Then go to mode and go to overlay. And I did it on the wrong layer, okay. There we go, mode, overlay. And that just gives it a nice blue texture. You can even, uh, if you do a little something like this with the blue a little higher up, it gives it a little better blue on the bottom, but you can do it whatever color you want really. I'll just leave it like that for now. So now I'll go to select uh, none, and there we have the text. So hide this background layer which is white, and just right click and press merge visible layers, merge. And now on this uh, merge, the one you just merged, which is the text, go to a layer, auto crop layer, uh, with the alignment tool, uh, align it center and then right click on it and press layer to image size. Now on this background layer, you're going to want to get a dark blue foreground, or a light blue foreground rather, and a dark blue background. Now take your gradient tool, oh and if you want to know the HTML notations for this, it's 1693A2 and <coughs> 002557, those are the two HTML notations. Now on the gradient, go foreground and background with a radial with a radial gradient and just stroke from the middle out to the corners and that just gives it a cool a little circle in the middle there. Now create a new layer go to filters uh, distorts blinds and you want it, the number of segments 7 and then the displacement on 50 and you want orientation vertical and then click OK, and it gives you those vertical lines right there. Now with this layer selected, go to Filters, Distorts, 
polar coordinates, change the circle and depth percent circle and depth percent all the way to zero, and the offset angle all the way to 359 degrees. Uh, you want to map backwards. You want that unchecked, but it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, map from top. You want checked, but again, it doesn't really matter. Two polar. You definitely want checked, or else it'll turn out like that. You don't want that. So that's the only thing that really needs to be checked. So that just gives it a cool starburst effect. So you want to add a layer mask to this. Add a layer mask. And you want the white full opacity. And even actually, alpha to selection this right here. And fill in with a little lighter blue. <coughs> with this normal layer mode. With the normal layer selected. Not the mask. Then just fill in all those right there. And then go to select none. Now, with on the layer mask selected, get a white or black foreground and a white background. Take your gradient tool and go foreground to background, uh, HSV counterclockwise is the top one, and just stroke out. Oh, so I'm sorry. You want to reverse it first. And that just gives the starburst of the effect of fading out from darker to lighter. So that's just a uh, simple. Um, the tutorial on some water effects. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel, and please suggest a, a tutorial you would like to see me do in the future.